In our last episode, we explored the basics of how an email goes from you to someone else. What we didn't cover was how a computer retrieves mail from your email server. Today we're going to talk about an important but overlooked aspect of email. Have you ever wanted to have access to your email when you don't have an internet connection? Maybe you're looking for a message from work or trying to look up a confirmation number in a place without Wi-Fi. If this has happened to you, you already have a basic understanding of POP and IMAP. POP stands for Post Office Protocol. Using POP means you can connect once to the server, download all of your messages, log off, and still have full access to them without an internet connection. However, POP checks your email server for new messages, downloads them, then deletes them from the server. If using POP, for example, from your work computer, once you download your email, the email is then gone from the server. So if you go to connect to your email account from your home computer, a message you saw at work won't be there to be downloaded again. IMAP, or the Internet Message Access Protocol, offers two-way connections between your email client and the server. This is especially helpful today when using multiple devices to connect to email servers. Rather than downloading your email to your specific device, IMAP keeps the messages on the server. So if you begin drafting a Gmail message from your iPhone, you can sign in from your laptop later and see the draft stored right there. Depending on the email client you use, you may be able to specify how your messages are downloaded and stored. Gmail, for example, allows you to select which method you want to use. That can be found under the Settings tab. We recommend using IMAP if you have a choice. However, it's a good idea to store local copies of your most important messages so you have access to them in the event of a lack of internet connectivity. You may not have given much thought to how you access your email in the past, but after today, hopefully you have a better idea of the options available to you. For more information on email options, visit our website at www.securitymatters.iu.edu.